The Orlando shootings will impact the upcoming Twin Cities Pride Festival. Organizers are changing security measures. Susan Lee Smith Littlefield is live along part of the parade route to explain what's going on. Well, Frank, you know, crowds of people come for Twin Cities Pride. In fact, last year there were about a half a million people, some of them lining this parade route right here. This year, there's going to be a memorial on that parade route. Now, if you're thinking of coming out, organizers say they're coming up with a new security plan. Also rethinking security are several local bar owners. Early Sunday morning, the party was at full tilt at the saloon in Minneapolis. Soon, they would find out what was happening at a similar club 1,500 miles away. I just sat in the middle of the disco for a minute and just kind of thought about, you know, what if that was here and tried to comprehend just what what they went through that night. The general manager says he knows it would be hard to stop something like what happened in Orlando. He says they have a strong security team there, but try to draw a line. You know, we have no metal detectors. Um, we don't do pat downs. Um, I wouldn't want anyone coming here to feel like they're coming into an airport. But he says he's already getting backup from MPD. They've really been supportive. There were a number of police driving by all night long. Um, they stopped a couple of times. Officers also met with Eagle Bolt Bar. Their manager says they are reevaluating their security plan. In nearby gay 90s, the manager says they do pat downs. And after Orlando, they'll consider using metal detecting wands. Security plans will be changing for Twin Cities Pride at Loring Park in two weeks. Instead of keeping officers behind the scenes or in plain clothes, officers will be more visible. You know, we don't want it to be a sea of blue. However, you know, we might have to make some compromises in that this year. And, and that's what the event is supposed to be all about, making people feel safe. Yeah, don't be afraid. Now, bar managers tell me the Minneapolis police really made the rounds yesterday, making themselves known, no, telling the, the bar managers that they really have their back at this time. They even went over some procedures with them if something were to happen. For instance, they said one of the first steps for a bar owner, if something's going on there, is to cut the music off. So they went over some tips. Well, I know it's a ways out, but any idea? I mean, are there a lot of hotel rooms sold out? Do they expect a big turnout this year? It's really interesting because last year there was a record breaking turnout that of course was right after the Supreme Court made the marriage vote. So they didn't think it was going to be as big this year, but now the thinking is because of this tragedy, it is going to bring even more people. Well, we'll find out. Susan Elizabeth, thank you. And do stay with WCCO. We'll have continuing coverage of the massacre in Orlando. We'll of course uh, update things for you. There'll probably be something new on our news at 10.